uh, my intro to my YouTube video, but I forgot. Don't do that during the intro. Yo, what's up guys? So, I wanted to drop a little vlog kind of style, but I kind of forgot to uh, record my whole routine. This is my girlfriend Haley, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram. But, probably gonna show you a couple more workouts. Me and Haley probably gonna hang out after this. Probably get some coffee. And then, I'll see you guys for tonight's breakdown. GJ. GJ, baby. <laughs> Hopefully they can hear me. Say what you gotta say. Hopefully you guys can hear me. But I'm almost done my workout and I completely forgot to record all of it. But here's my last thing, because Haley takes forever. Bicep curls. No, I don't. And then, are we gonna get coffee after this? Yeah. Can you not? And then we're gonna break down the market. Ready? Copyrighted. Ah, darn. Yeah. Or what? Dunzo. Dunzo Machanzo. Done our lift. I had a great lift. Great lift. I had shoulders. Haley, what'd you hit? I need a haircut, guys. Holy fuck. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome, YouTube. I'm back again this week again, and I told you guys I'm back to being consistent. This is the first week, the first video of the week, and I'm here to tell you guys I told you so. If you guys turn had your post notifications on before London session, I told you guys that once we break up above, once we break above this key area down here, we were gonna fly all the way up to 165.500, and that's exactly what we did, right? So, um, you know, if you guys caught that breakout, uh, congratulations. Um, it was a beautiful trade. I knew that there was a big supply and demand area. And if you guys are wondering which video, it was these two videos right here, right? These two videos right here, price is going to break above this area and reach all the way to the previous highs as it did all the way over here, right? 165.500 right around this area. Um, and we flew from the area I told you to break out and buy, we flew about 250 pips. That was a great, great trade, right? So... <clears throat> First of all, I hope you guys liked the little mini vlog in the beginning. Um, I'm going to do a day in my life, you know, kind of seeing where I, what I do, how I go about things. How do I um, get ready for the markets too, um, live and in person, right? How do I start my days? My days start late. Um, a trader's, you know, day is insane. But um, I'm going to break down GPJPY for you guys tonight and see what I got going on. Remember, guys, um, I actually have more spots filled out. This month was the renewal week for a couple of students. And I only had one or I had about like a... 95% retention rate. So everybody stayed except for about two, two um students. So um I have spots open, guys. Remember to reach out to me. My my email is um alex.romero at rocketmail.com and follow me on Instagram at alexromero11 underscore. Uh DM me on Instagram if you guys are ready. Comment in my pictures. I mean comment under one of my videos if you guys are interested. I do have two spots open again for my um academy, right? It doesn't matter what level you are. I help people trying to fine tune their trading. I have people, I have students that are learning Forex from square one who don't know a thing, right? And some people who are in the middle, okay? And the goal is to get everybody FTMO funded, right? Every single person I has the goal of getting FTMO funded. I have someone in the challenge right now and I'm guiding them and helping them through the challenge, right? So if you guys are interested, please reach out to me. I have two more spots open now. Um, And if they don't fill out, I'm just going to keep on advertising it just so I can fill in those spots. Um, If you guys... Um, um, you know, are interested, please reach out to me. I help anybody, everybody. So um, let's get back down to the breakdown. So when it comes down to GBJPY, right, we're on the daily time frame here, and we reach a huge supply and demand area right here, as you see, I see right around the 164.607 area. If you see pressures pushing all the way across here, right, price came up, wicked to the upside, and dropped hella pips, right? We came all the way up, price wicked to the upside, and, and closed under again. So to me, this kind of is maybe telling me that we could possibly, um, we could possibly start to, you know, reject that area. We have a lower low, lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and pushing upwards, right, into that supply and demand area, right? And that's kind of just giving me the direction of where we could go for. So when going on the daily time frame, I showed you guys that we have rejection at that supply and demand area, but the four hours is really where I'm going to dictate this trade, right? The real reason behind that is because... Um, we are kind of in this range now, right? We're on the this supply and demand area. This supply and demand area I'm clicking right now, and I'm going to change to orange. This is a supply and demand area that we want to break above. Every single time we come up here, we reject it, right? So um, price is starting to create also this kind of, um, 
how do you call it? Price is also starting to create these little formations, little triangle formation, right? Creating lower highs um, and higher lows. So I'm going to wait for the breakout of this triangle right here, okay? I'm not going to take any trades in here. I'm going to establish this no trade zone. That's what I deleted earlier. I'm going to establish this no trade zone. The reason why is because price already bounced off this area, right? Creating lower highs, higher lows, and we're just projecting trend lines now, not even the support and resistance. So I want price to either break above and reach this next area of supply and demand. If we break the weekly supply and demand area and highs, we're going to continue to go bullish, right? Continue to go bullish. I'm going to have price just pushing up to 166.500, right? So no, you know, turn your post notifications on, catch this move with me. Once we break above the 165207 area right here once we break above that area we're most likely to go long okay if not this is the trade that i want mostly right the trade that i feel most comfortable in price is going to break under break this structure point that i'm going to highlight and completely drop that's the trade that i have because we're at this huge supply and demand area that's very important so that's my breakdown for gdp JPY, we're breaking above, we're retesting this area, and now we're kind of forming a um a triangle formation. Whichever way we break above from, we're gonna enter those longs, right? Enter these longs right here at 207. Set your stops appropriate under the zones, and then target the next area of support and resistance, which would be this area where we rejected from last time, right? If price breaks under, that's the best trade we want. We want price to break under, and you want price to retest, and then we want price to um come our way all the way down to 160.500 that's what happened every single time if you see this supply and demand area right is important resistance if we simply drag this across we, you know what happens every single time we come here right every single time we come here look what happens right we come here reject come here reject so if we break under this area and retest and reject we're going to reject all the way down to these lows all the way over here so the shorts is what i want although if we break above i do believe price is probably going to start trending bullish so but this is the trade that i want this is the trade i'm looking for um remember if you guys have any questions on this right um dm me or i'll answer questions about the trade setup itself um if not that's all right but if you guys are interested in the academy remember reach out to me any way shape or form um thank you guys for watching and i'll update you guys tomorrow i'll see you guys in london i'll update you guys tomorrow on how the trade went how the trade goes what happened and if i took it when i win when i lose doesn't matter probably gonna win see you guys later see you guys on wednesday or tuesday tomorrow don't matter post notifications on like subscribe thank you guys for watching deuces